Hello, how are you? Hope you are having a wonderful week. And um, today I want to talk about something that has been coming up a lot recently. It's something that I feel needs to be talked about more because it's something I think people don't even realize that they're doing. So what is this thing? Well, let me give you an example. Recently, I had a client who was coming to me with a lot of trouble, a lot of problems and a lot of issues in her life. And she was talking to me at length about all the issues and about all the problems she was having and going into detail about how the, these problems were keeping her stuck, how she wasn't able to move forward, how she always seemed to be going back to the same problem. And I went through this with her and of course, it's natural for us when we feel stuck, when we feel like we're enmeshed in problems and difficulties that we can't see a way out or we can't see the light. And it was interesting to me because when I asked her, okay, so where do you see yourself in a year's time? If everything works out, if you could have your ideal life in a year's time, how do you see that life? What do you see in your life? How will your life has, have changed? And when I asked her that question, she was totally blank. She had been so animated talking about all her problems, the difficulties, all the things that were wrong in her life. But as soon as I asked her what she wanted, what was her ideal outcome, her ideal scenario, it was, she had no clue, no idea at all. And of course, um, when we are looking to make changes in our lives, it's like when you get into your car. If you get into your car and you don't know your destination and you're driving around and you're wondering why you're not getting to the place you want to go, if you don't know where you want to go, you're never going to get there. You're going to drive around in circles. You're going to be stuck in traffic. You're going to feel blocked because you don't know where you're going. So I'd like to ask you the same question. If you have difficulties in your life, if you have problems in your life right now, and you know, we all have difficulties, we all have problems, and that's natural. Staying stuck in those difficulties and problems is not natural. It's natural for us to move through them, to learn, to grow, and to evolve. So what I want to ask you is, in a year's time, or even in a month's time, if you can visualize changes happening, if it's a small change, maybe think about a month's time. If it's something bigger, think about a year's time. Where do you see yourself? Where do you see your life? How do you see things having changed? What is your ideal scenario for where you want your life to be? And take a look at this in a number of ways. Think about relationships, think about career, think about your health and well being, think about your hobbies and creativity and what you want to do to express yourself. Think about finances and money and how you would ideally see your life in a year's time. Think about all those elements and anything else that might come up to you that's important. Include all of those things. So get a piece of paper, write down all of those elements and just begin to map out how you see, how you want to see your life, what your ideal scenario is. Now, when I say ideal scenario, do not limit yourself based on what you think is possible. This is really important. You may think, well, in a year's time, I want to get a promotion in my current job because for me, that's viable from where I stand. But really, I hate my job and I'd much prefer to be doing something completely different. If you think that getting a promotion is a viable outcome, that's not your ideal scenario. Your ideal scenario is leaving that job you hate and working doing something that you love. So be careful not to get stuck in the trap of, well, logically, I can achieve this in years time. In my viewpoint, I can't see any other outcomes. So my ideal scenario is getting a promotion. Of course, if you're in a job that you hate, your ideal scenario isn't getting a promotion, it's leaving that job. So just be really, really clear about what it is you want. Don't think about what's viable. Think about what's possible. And if I were to say to you, in a year's time, you could have turned your life around, you can be in the work that you love, you can do something that you love, you can earn money from doing the work you love and helping other people. How does that feel to you? 
just think about how that feels. If that feels completely unachievable, ask yourself why. Begin getting curious. Start asking yourself questions. Why do I feel this way? Why do I feel restricted? Why do I feel that I can't escape my current scenario? Do I feel that I should be suffering? Do I feel that I deserve to suffer? Do I feel that it's possible for other people but not possible for me? And just begin to look at your limiting beliefs and just identify some of those limiting beliefs. If you think you're not qualified or if you think that you've nothing to offer, just begin to explore those limiting beliefs without judging yourself, without thinking I shouldn't be thinking this way or without thinking that you're broken and you need to be fixed. Just get curious, just explore the way you think, explore the way your mind works and explore how you hold yourself back in ways as well. Because when you get curious, when you start exploring, that's when you open up to possibilities. If you approach it with a childlike wonder, rather than getting bogged down with, oh, I have to fix this aspect of me because it's holding me back. Don't get start thinking that way because that will hold you back if you start thinking that way. You have to look at things with a childlike wonder so that you can start to open up to greater possibilities, to greater um, things coming into your life that you could never even conceive of allowing the divine to work through you when you are open to it. If you're closed, the divine can't work through you. The universe can't work through you if you are closed to new opportunities, to new ways of being. As soon as you become curious, as soon as you open up, as soon as you express that childlike wonder and ask yourself, well, what if I were to change career? Or what if I were to move house? Or what if I was to express myself creatively, creatively doing the work that I love or doing something that brings me joy. What if? And just ask what if. It doesn't mean that you have to go in hand in your notice. It doesn't mean that you have to change your life straight away. But just asking yourself that question, get curious, ask yourself, well, what if? What if I were to do this thing that I've been dreaming of doing? What if I was to take a step towards that? What would happen? How would I feel? And always go back to how you want to feel. The way you want to feel is always an indicator of what you should be going towards. If you want to feel free, if you want to feel peaceful, if you want to feel happy, what will make you feel that way? And of course, all those things lie within us. But what things can you do to help bring about that feeling in your life? And just begin to explore that as well. And when you start exploring, when you start bringing that wonder into it, new ideas, new inspiration, new opportunities will start to show up. You don't even have to go looking for them. Just by being curious, you're opening up a space for the universe to send these things your way. So write down where you see yourself in your ideal scenario in a year's time. Start to get curious. Start to wonder what that would look like. Start to wonder what if. Start to explore all the possibilities. And then stay open. If you get divine guidance or if you get inspiration to do something to start a course or to contact somebody or to start you know creatively writing or uh, painting or singing or whatever it is start doing that don't ignore those little uh, flashes of inspiration act on them and begin to step into that life begin to step into that ideal scenario because if you don't do it now in a year's time You'll be in the same scenario that you are now, wondering why you're still in the same problems, why you're still in the same scenario where you're feeling stuck and why things haven't changed. So if you don't change, your life isn't going to change. You have to take that first step. And I know it's scary and I know it can be daunting thinking about how am I going to bring about this ideal scenario. But in reality, you don't have to do anything. You just have to start believing and seeing it in your mind's eye, start getting curious, and then you'll be given little steps along the way, little baby steps towards it. You don't have to make huge changes. It's always the small steps that count. The small steps lead you to the big changes that you're looking for. So I hope you find this helpful. If you are trying to achieve something big in your life or small, please, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you and let me know how you're bringing that change into your life. I'm Sandra Ray and I will see you in the next video.